What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so yeah, we went through a lot. And I mean a lot, a lot. Yeah, we saved uh, the Magikarp from evolving into Red Gyaradosis. Whoa, what a shame, what a shame. Uh, got to be overshadowed by Lance because, well, yeah, at this point right now, Lance is a more superior trainer than us, and, uh, <laughs> well, it is finally time for us to go back to, well, let's see, northeast, southwest. Yeah, it's time to go west now because, well, like I said in the last episode, we're not going to be doing the gym right here because, well, you know, we're not that ready, even though we are. So, let's go right ahead and take care of business. We gotta go east, or we gotta go west, because there's a lot more going on. A lot more trainers. And, uh, let's see, what else can we do? Yeah, we can actually get more badges along the way, too. That, and, uh, there's much more storyline right there. People are waiting for us, and yes, yeah, so we're gonna be taking a visit to the Safari Zone at some point. And, well, here we are. Let's go right ahead and move on to... Ecotech City right here. So, let's see. I know that I've been missing for the last week, guys. It's been a roller coaster of a ride. Mainly because, well, shoot. Things are starting up again, especially with the super uh, with the football season coming on. And uh <laughs> yeah. Drew good old Draven has to be super responsible of every little thing. So, yeah, that's probably the that's probably one thing that we we have a uh, you know, it's, that's one thing that we got we got stuff to, uh, going on right now. And, well, look at this. We found ourselves a max potion. And that is pretty cool right there. Now, let's see. I don't know if we will be running into some legendary Pokemon. There is always the chance. And, well, let's go right ahead and start battling some people and more trainers as well. So, let's go ahead and skip this part right here. And start battling her, yes, because she thinks that we're cute. Okay, so here we are, guys, taking on a beauty Valerie. And she's going to be coming out with a hot bib, so let's go right ahead and just go with the Aerial Ace. Hercules taking some butt, taking some names. Let's go with Cinder right here. And let's go with a flame wheel. Look at that, yes. Taking some butt, taking some names. Okay, so skip it through, yes. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what was it that I was trying to say? Yes. So, we're doing everything in reverse, mainly because... Mainly because of what you would call it. Uh, we are... We're going through every single little thing. What I like about the Johto region is that we get the freedom to pick and choose what what badge we go for first. If you guys remember, in the original Heart Gold Wonka that I did... Yeah, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't fare too well when it came to uh, price and all that stuff. Many of you guys made fun of me for it. It was what it was, guys. It was what it was. So, let's go right ahead and just do this the other way around. Be smart about the stuff that we can actually find. Look at that. Fluffolt, level 26. Kicking butt, taking names. And let us move on. And yes, she will be... Let's see. Boys give me items after battles. But sometimes they gave me too much. Next time, I could share some with you. So, go ahead and grab, the, grab her phone number. Because, well... Yes, getting some free items is always cool. And... Well, let's go right ahead and move on. I think we got this guy right here. He's gonna be blocking us. Holy crud. Let me try something I learned today. Hmm. Okay, so let's go. School Kid Chad. Coming up with his lone Pokemon, Mr. Mime. Let's go with a horn attack. Horn attack again. And just like that, we have defeated this kid. And, well, after this, he's like, huh, that thing is a Pokedex. Have you met Professor Oak? Huh, you have. That's way cool. I have a dream of becoming a Pokemon researcher like Poke Professor Oak. May I please have your phone number? We should chat about Professor Oak. Yes, we will. And I don't know how many numbers we could fit, but there's quite a few. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so he's blocking our way. We're going to speed through this grass right here because, yeah, there's always a chance of getting attacked by a Pokemon. And, well, we ran into a Magnemite and Eradicate. So there it is. Look at that. And there is an item right there. Now, here we are crossing into... Oh, wow, our mother's calling us. Please let it be a better item. Hello? Uh, okay, we're good. Useful item, yes, okay. So she gave us an item. We have to go to... We literally have to go to what you would call it, the... The Pokemon, but this guy right here is like... His name is Baoba. Oh, what are you... What you are holding is that they call a Pokedex. Haven't seen one of those in ages. My name is Baoba. I used to run the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City, but it's uh, it was becoming out of date with the new entertainment uh, 
entertainment options coming out. I decided to go overseas to learn the newest technology and open up a state-of-the-art safari zone in Cyanwood City. It may be more than a co coincidence that we are chatting. Why don't we register each other's numbers in the Poke Gear? I can give you a call once the safari zone has opened uh, for before everybody else. Look at that. Okay. So it, there it is, guys. We get ourselves a phone number from Bioba. And that right there is the first seat to getting the first seat to getting our what you might call it uh, our entrance to the safari zone. Now here we are in front of the yeah the Moo Moo not the Moo Moo place. Oh the farm. Let's see what is it called again? The Moo Moo farm. Yes it is. Okay so here we are the Moo Moo farm and let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. He's gonna be like my milk tank ain't giving me no more milk. This here farm is famous for its milk. Most everyone wants a drink. It'll give lots of milk if 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 I feed it so lots of berries, I reckon. I'm trying to figure out what kind of berries we have, though. So let's go right in here and talk to this milk tank. And yes, we should be giving it some oran berries. And the only problem is that I don't know if I have so many oran berries. I think you have to give it like about seven oran berries. And there we go. That's three, it's become a little healthier. And there we go, there's an oran berry. That's four. There's five. Okay, so there's five oran berries. And there's six. Yeah, and seven. And there it is, guys. We have healed his mill tank up. And let's see, it's given a moo moo, it's brimming with energy. So after doing that, we can go back into the farm area right here and talk to this guy. He's going to be like, how would you like a Moo Moo Milk? It's a pride and joy here. Give it to a Pokemon to restore HP. I'll give it, you, I'll give it to you just for 500 Poke Dollars. And, well, five. Well, we only got one. So let's go right ahead and do this again. Let's get a, a half a dozen right here. Or one dozen. So there it is. One dozen. And there we go. And talk to this lady. He's like, you fixed our Miltex, hon? Now it gives Moomoo Milk again. Here's something for your trouble. And we get ourselves the TM83. It's pretty awesome. This one right here is Natural Gift. The, its move type and power will depend on the berry that you're holding. Okay. All right. So let us get the heck out of here. And there might be some hidden item right here. Yes, there is an item right around here. And look at that, we found ourselves the TM60 Drain Punch. And to think I spent so much money trying to get it over at the... At the, uh, what, what was it called? The... <laughs> I keep on forgetting the name of the of the place. Uh, oh yeah, the Pokemon, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the department store. Holy crud. Okay, so here we are. This guy is looking at us. And let me see what your Pokemon are capable of. Okay, let's go right ahead and take on a Psychic, his name is Nelson, and we're going to be going with an Aerial Ace, Aerial Ace again, and here comes another Slowpoke, so let's go straight back to our good old buddy Fluffbolt right here, let's go with the Charge Beam, and there we go, okay, so that's a victory for us right there, and, huh, it looks like that we can't get that Pokeball just yet, because, yeah, Rock Climb, you gotta love Rock Climb, okay, so, here we go, battling everybody in here. He's gonna be like, I just got, I just got back to Olivine, so how about a Pokemon battle? No. Okay. So, here we go, taking on Eugene, and he's gonna be coming out with his Poliwhirl. And there we go. And here comes Eradicate, so let's go with Thrasher. We have missed you for quite some time. Here comes a double kick. And just like that, we beat him. And let's go with Flubvolt. All right, Flavolt, get this charge beam going. There it is, and just like that, we have defeated this guy right here. Okay, so who's next? This guy right here. Definitely, definitely a lot of experience points, and well, here we go. This time we're taking on Pokefan Derek, coming out with a Pikachu, and well, let's go right ahead with a horn attack. And there goes level 24, okay. So we do, we do something like that, and uh, well, now we gotta, Okay, so this guy wants our phone number too, so let's go right ahead and give it to him. Jeez, I, I guess we're like the most popular person in, uh, in all the all of Johto right now. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and use up... Uh, let's go with Togepi. I have missed you. I have missed you. Okay. 
All right. Stop ignoring me. Stop ignoring me. Damn it. Pay attention to me. Okay. There we go. And sure, darling, or such darling Pokemon. Let's uh, let's show our Pokemon together at the same time. So let's see. Okay, so I may have chosen the wrong Pokemon, but guess what? Extra sensory does the trick, and there we go. Alrighty. Okay. So let's see. Is there any Pokeball up up here? No, there's nothing. Okay. So let's go right ahead. And here we are, Olivine City. And once we get to Olivine City, the gym door opens, and this guy is gonna come out, and he's gonna be like, dot, 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 you again. There's no need to be alert. I don't bother with whips like you. Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here, and is supposedly taking care of a sick po Pokemon at the lighthouse. <laughs> boo hoo. Just let the sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon like that can't handle or, or can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? Who knows? It may make you a bit better trainer. Flipping you off, homeboy. I am flipping you off. Smart ass remarks like that. Oh my god. Anywho, that right there was uh, Silver yet again with his monologue of how much he hates us and hates the world. I don't know. And, well, if you talk to this guy, he's going to be talking about the sea and he's been fishing for 30 years. You say yes and he is going to be giving you a good rod. That right there. That right there is uh, gonna be helpful for getting some Pokemon. Yeah, get some uh, water type Pokemon and all that stuff. Now, here we are in Olivine City. Of course, there's gonna be, you know, the lighthouse right here, and we're gonna be, you know, looking at some other stuff. And, well, if you go talk to this guy, he's gonna be looking for a Pokemon, and that is a Krabby for a Voltorb. Unfortunately, we don't have a Krabby just yet. We gotta go to Voltorb. Or we gotta get that Krabby. Thankfully, we do have the good rod. And, well, whenever I get in trouble, Daddy always scares me. Who is the Daddy? Okay, this guy. Along the way to Sinewood, there are these four deserted islands. Bad kids are taken to the islands to first punishment. That right there's gotta mean. But then kind of smart at the same time. I mean, yes. We do love to uh, discipline our kids right here. And, well, let's see. There is uh, this right here, the Pokemon Diner. I think that's what it is. So if we go right here, I think there will be an individual right here. Whenever I roll into Olivine, I always visit the Olivine Cafe. Everything on the menu makes me feel stronger. I can't stop eating. Oh, look at that. And if you talk to this guy, gobble, 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 choke, choke, choke. Oh, I'm choking. Whoa, that was close. I should chew before I swallow my food. That is true. And if you talk to not, well, not Togetic, it's stealing food. Scold it? Yes. Oh, wow. Hey, your Pokemon is not moving, but it's drooling a lot. Oh, my bad. How's your Pokemon train coming along? Have you ever noticed that there are the mountains? There are boulders in your way. You can move it with the hit and move strength. Hikers at Mount Mortar sometimes have extra, or I have so I have heard, which, yes, I've actually gotten, uh, I've actually gotten uh, the strength technique a while back, so we are good. We are good. Now, here we're going to be going into Route 40, and would you look at that? This guy is talking about the Great Waves. Now, here is a little something that you're going to be able to find. The Battle Frontier. This right here, as many of you guys already know, is where all like the hard stuff happens. You talk to this guy, he's going to be like, what? I'm the first to arrive. There will soon be a Battle Frontier past here. I'm in line to be the first one there. I haven't slept for days. Get in line if you want to, if you want to be second in line. Okay, well, Battle Frontier, we won't be going there for a while. I hope. Maybe not. I don't know. But yes, the Battle Frontier is going to be right there. And there's going to be a lot of surfing right there too. So, take a look at this, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going into the lighthouse. Trying to rescue some Pokemon. Trying to, you know, train our way and all that stuff. So, stay tuned. This will be getting interesting in the next few episodes. So, thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.